It took about 180 milk crates to build this 15 foot tall altar or ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead in English. It took three weeks for Isabel Hernandez to build the altar in her yard in Pilsen. I realized uh, I wanted to give back to the community and I thought this is the best thing that I could do. Hernandez started on the altar in September. She used a ladder to reach the top. People couldn't understand how come I was putting a lot of work, a lot of effort and money, but I thought this is make me happy because I was sharing something to the community. The holiday is meant to remember lost loved ones. It's celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. There's always been a misconception that they think that we are celebrating death when actually we are celebrating life. Hernandez put out a request on social media for anyone who wanted to include their deceased loved ones on the altar. She received about 250 photos. All the people have, we have lost it's part of our, our history. It's part of who we are, where are we coming from. There are many ways people observe the holiday. Nada Trejo says her family spent it at her grandmother's gravesite growing up. We would bring flowers, a lot of the cempasuchil. We'd bring other things, other foods that she loved, since that is a part of the celebration. Since the idea is you're, you're welcoming back the spirits of those who have passed. Although the holiday stretches back centuries in Mexico, Hernandez says you don't have to be Mexican or Hispanic to make an altar for your loved ones. We don't want to feel that our loved ones are gone forever. So that's the most important thing that we still remember that we're not forgetting about them. Hernandez plans to begin taking down the altar on Wednesday. She's hoping that it will only take a day. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.